It's not a word, it's a, it's the notes. Try to grab her. Me down there to fight the Vox and defend the Zeppelin. Okay, big battle coming up. Got it. Uh, how do I use the Songbird? You can now command the Songbird to attack enemy threats. Aim at any highlighted target and press E to start the attack. Larger targets will cause a longer cooldown. Booker, tell Songbird where to go. Do the thing. Okay, so we gotta. Oh, that's the that's the health of the ship. Got it. Where's? Get rid of the rockets. So that's I've got to protect the ship. Where's that fire coming from? Give me undertow. You bet. They're gonna head to this section and try to take out that central glowy thing. Defending the glowy thing. I feel like I'm on the other end of someone else's video game. Bring down that gunship. Okay. Just taking out the gunships. I can mostly handle the crew. How long do I have to do this for? Oh. There's more of them. Do it. Now. Grab a health kit. Uh, hang on, I haven't decided yet. Right now, I'm good. I need to get some high ground. I can't see. They're aiming for this central battery. I think. What was that? Where's that? Where's that coming from? Shit! Ah, I cannot. I cannot see where those rockets are coming from from here. All right, on each of the walkways. I need the songbird in. Come on. I don't know why I tried to shoot at him. These guys are absolutely ruining the bloody... Get away. These guys are doing murder on the thing I'm supposed to... What the hell happened to that rocket? Oh, damn it. Appreciate it. Good heavens. I think the Vox announcer has become the leader. Let's get uh, electric bolts. I want that undertow. What is coming from that Zeppelin? Okay, you're going to need to, yeah, take out that one first. Oh god, I didn't know I was that low on health. I'm, fo I'm focused down these Patriots. I'll go up to the little guys later. Jesus, I'm out. This one is gonna be sloppy. I'm genuinely struggling. Need those medical kits back. And I'm running low on machine gun ammo. I might need a different weapon, a repeater or something. 
Get that, give me that. Yeah, think. Let's take out that other Zeppelin. Songbird isn't ready yet. What are you shooting at? God, I wish I could see. I see a big red thing. That gun. Cute. That's the carbine ammo. I needed that. God in heaven. The Patriots go zappy when you undertow them. That makes sense. Is it? Are they electric? I think they're steam powered. I'm trying to get behind these guys. Okay. Get rid of that. I think the Zeppelins are deploying the... The Patriots. Really need less of those. These guys are t absolutely eating ammo. Damn it. Doing alright. It's not down to half health, but I don't know how long this battle is going to go for. Die. Cover up there. I'm going to move up top and get some high ground. Get off. Long fall for you. Armored guys as well. I can barely concentrate. Songbird still needs time. Come on, I need that songbird back. Songbird's ready. That one. The Zeppelin. Bring it down. Keep bringing down those Zeppelins. But we're fighting a full-scale freaking... We're, we're now fighting the Civil War here. Did we get it? God, I've got no idea. I can barely keep track of what's going on. This is the most... This is entirely different from any other fight we've had. I've never had to protect something. I usually don't do very well at protecting things I'm supposed to be protecting. <laughs> nearly run out of ammo. Nearly run out of salt. Nearly run out of health. But I seem... To have managed it. We fought off the Vox attack. They were aiming at this thing, whatever it is. That's the weak spot, whatever. At the bow, that's the front. That's how ship works. Ship terms work. The bow is the front, the stern is the rear, starboard is the right, and port is the left. Facing forward. That's why they use those terms. Hmm, what's down here? Nothing. Booker, come here. What? What is it? Look, you can use the songbird to bring the whole damn thing down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want. It's the only way we'll find the truth. Pop my finger. I didn't know the finger was that important. Everything. Very well. I never really put that much stock on the finger. I guess it was really important. Tear it down. Tear it all down. I suppose. Doesn't seem like we have a choice. Cage. I have no idea if that was the... Boom. Oof. The 
Whistler. Elizabeth. The bird, Elizabeth. She's control. He's coming. No, he's a lot more powerful now. She's not being siphoned anymore. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, we are in rapture. What? It's okay. It's alright. I'm here. What the fuck are we doing in rapture? In the opening part of Bioshock One. Elizabeth. I'm sorry. And you just drowned the songbird. Which is pretty mean of you, actually. Or crushed it in the pressure under rapture. How deep are we? What is this place? Elizabeth? It's a doorway. One of many. Nice reference, if that's all it is. It's a doorway. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. Do you mind if I look around a bit? Okay, it's been a minute. Though it looks... I think... I don't know. Is there gonna be a, um... Gatherer's Garden up here? There you are. Oh, God. I was expecting Rapture to be mentioned. So I suppose this is where they got the idea from the handyman from. The, the big daddies. That makes sense. I mean, we're in Rapture. Near the medical pavilion. Is Jack going to be down here? This is the opening level of Bioshock. Attention, all bathysphere travel is now denied. Rapture. This is where we have to go. Transport authority. Why? What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean that this is a doorway? To what? To show you. It, well, no, hang on. We came out of... Jack came out of this bathysphere. This is a different one. There's a Vita chamber. Okay, very well. <sighs> Probably gonna regret this. Yeah. What is... Evolution in a bottle. The various plasmids. Maybe that's where they got the Vigors from as well. Okay. Do we have business in Rapture? The bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Uh, not as ridiculous as you might think. But what are we doing in Rapture? What What's Rapture's relevance? Are we heading back to the surface? Oh, that looks good. I kind of miss Rapture. I don't think Columbia quite matches it. It was just a quick visit. We're just popping in. Now we're heading up to the lighthouse, presumably. Look at that. Thousands of doors. What, the stars? God, they're beautiful. What, the stars? Ah, uh, this isn't working like it's supposed to. This Come is on, not this a normal bathysphere. Come on. It shouldn't move like that, should it? Rapture or Ryan? Over? Once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought... Fully control what? What is that? That's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just... I just couldn't see it. What does that mean? What... I, what are you? What are you? All of the lighthouses. Okay, but like, what does that mean? Choose what? Whose choice? Yours, mine, and Tess. What are all these lighthouses? Why are we? Who are? There are a million, million worlds, all different, and all similar, constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man, 
there's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. We have the same. Constants and variables. Yes. All right. I can hear. I can hear the. All right. I'm gonna go this way. I'm choosing to hold the right here, to this one. I don't know where that one goes. There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. I only know of two: Jack and the lighthouse to Rapture, and Booker and the lighthouse to Columbia. So what? What else? These are the lighthouses. Look, it's us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. It always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker, I've already been. Let's move onwards. I mean, it's another sort of meta narrative, free choice. All possible conclusions. Let's go left this time. All possible alternatives have been thought out ahead of time because of how the the nature of fiction and video games and any well say any fiction, not just video games, movies, TV, books, they're all been thought out ahead of time. There's no real choice. Wait a minute. I know this place. I don't. I was here. Alright. Right after wounded me, I was looking for. It's... Come on now, time's a waste. Why were you here? He was looking for God. Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want to. But you already did, didn't you? Okay, except baptism. It looks like the same guy. Are you ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Stop it! What Stop. are you doing? Do it. Get off me! Get off! Son! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river's gonna change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. I mean, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I wanna be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. I'm going back and forth on the Comstock Booker connection. But I haven't quite made up my mind as to whether or not they do that. It Work seems too guts. obvious. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. Yeah. The male Lutess. There is a baby in this room. But he didn't have a child. What is this? Or it was no, it was bring no us the baby. girl. Uh, I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. He sold his child for his gambling habits? It didn't... He said he was still born. Maybe he was in denial. Who cut off her finger? She's got all of them. And if I choose not to? Can I choose not to? Go ahead. No. 
You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. You're calling him Lutess as well. The other Lutess. That's the last name, so if they're brother and sister. As I suspect they're just parallel dimensions of the same person. But so I'm I'm selling my child for the purposes of wiping away my gambling debts. Now I won't progress until I give it to him, and I don't have the option to choose another alternative. I have to do it. I mean I can stand around in this room for the rest of time, but um I don't particularly feel like doing that. I don't particularly feel like giving my kid over, but, um... What does Comstock want with her? Well, What's we know what he wants. He needs an heir. The debt's paid. Or does Lutess have something else? Okay. No, I think Comstock and Booker are different people. So... Is this one timeline or what actually happened? It's hard to tell. away the debt there was no baby the deal was i go to columbia to get you Booker, if it's different timelines does it count though I but i remember her now we've upset him i don't expect this next bit will be much for his mood come on what are we yeah. doing here comstock's dead we can just Go on with our lives. You don't need Dead? to. You mean like Chen Li? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. So where did he come from? No, it's in the original timeline that we started off. It was what he said, right? This is only an alternate timeline, but that's where Elizabeth comes from. So she's the sort of focal point of all the timelines. Unless this game has just misdirected me this whole time. I don't know what to take as real. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Excuse me. Just wanted to go around there. The deal is off! It's Give her fine. back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? Robert Lutess. No, you will not hit on the tree. Come! It is uncomfortable enough as it is! I'd like that. Your Comstock. You Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! Why no. younger Comstock? No, no, no. No, shut it down! Uh, shut down uh, the machine! No, and as the child. Give And there's the finger. I, I thought Anna was the wife. Anna? No. No. Is he just like mentally substituted the names so as to so deal with the grief or the guilt? I'm sorry. Traumatic reconstruction? And what did he do with the finger? Maybe that's why he started drinking and gambling, but why did he sell his daughter in the first place? So that must have preceded this whole thing. Anna DeWitt. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. For almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance for redemption. A chance for us to be together. But why? I told you it was. We already know it works. The question is. You suppose he branded himself as some sort of. And that'd be how Comstock knew that he'd have that brand. What's done will be done. I suppose the 
Brandis his hair shirt, as he is ours. Why did he forget? See? He's starting to put his story together. You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. What do you mean you lived it? Booker, wake up. Who's Robert? Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I saw you. I saw you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. Is it Comstock's fault or is it your fault? Killed him before he did any of this. Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born. And I'll smother this son of a bitch in his crib. Yeah, but you're not gonna do that, are you, Booker? That's never the answer. I mean, how many times can you try to fix what you've already done wrong? And you're not, you, you know you're not gonna smother the kid, baby Comstock. Presuming we know who Comstock is. Okay. Open another door. Are you sure? I'm not. Are you ready to be born again? Why are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Are you ready to leave behind all that has gone before? Oh, okay. That's creepy. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You were born again as a different man. Come, Stock. It all has to end. To have never. So he was come, Stock. Okay. In this world, but in all of ours. Smother. Maybe. Smother. 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 Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name can you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. They're both. And drowned. But only in one timeline, or in all timelines. But how does it affect... I might be overthinking this. Oh, they're disappearing. Elizabeth was never born. Because he died before she was born. Never sold her. Wait, there was one left. One didn't fade out. Hmm, does it matter? How does killing him at the baptism change? Was that the initial split point? That's the first choice. Any choices after that lead to the same outcome. It's hard to get a full read on what the implications are, really. I got lost in a fair few of the possible... Like, we didn't get an answer on Lutess. That was what I was most concerned about. I don't really think I know who they are. Did I miss something? Maybe I did. All of it came from that one choice, whether to be reborn as Comstock or not. Everything after that was inevitable, or everything related to Elizabeth was, you know, not exact, not like identical, but the ultimate destiny was always inevitable.
I'm trying to go through it. It's... It definitely falls into the problem I mentioned earlier, of getting kind of lost in the whole multiverse thing, and you're not quite sure what's real or not. Excuse me. Like, I might just be really stupid, but I'm having difficulty tying it all together. Excuse me. Just need to turn the volume down. I can't. I need to hear. Oh, I need to think. It's easy to get lost in the possible timelines and not know how much of it is actually matters. But I think it all stems from a single choice. And every other choice beyond that. So that's the only choice that mattered. Was the... Was the, um... He couldn't wash away his sins. From... I don't think it was at Peking, by the way. Um, from... Wounded knee, or the sins all stem from that. So, the only way out of that was to die, apparently. <laughs> all the Bioshock games share a theme of paternity of fatherhood, basically, and Bioshock Infinite is obviously not an exception, it's... That's a sign... Book of it was Troy Baker, of course he was, I should have... <laughs> should have guessed that. I think I heard of, um... Heard him in there. I just never... Troy Baker sounds like everyone, that's the slight problem with him. But the Lu... Ah! I really thought there was gonna be something with, uh... Lutes there. But, um, that doesn't- they don't really matter, I think, at the end. They're just... Neither does Columbia. Well, kind of, it does. It all matters. It doesn't matter, it's... Yeah. It's... It's a little easy for a story like that to get stuck up its own ass. Might be why I'm not quite sure how I feel about the ending there. I'm sure it can be, like, very cleanly explained and understood and uh, all of it can be, um, you know, there's someone who'll basically say, hey, here's what it all means, here's what matters, here's a big flow chart of all the timelines and how they fit together. Can, uh, If you're not immediately, um, in that, it feels a bit of a... I'm not, like, I'm not sure. It's very, um... Like, why did Elizabeth have to kill me, for one thing? The Elizabeths, the various Elizabeths that might have... Um come about. Or well, the various, various stages, actually, it looked like. There were various stages of Elizabeth. And then there's the Vox. All of that kind of feels almost pointless in the sort of vastness of the multiverse. It's just a slight pro It's just a slightly difficult to have an opinion on it. I guess I understand, um... Like, I'm not, uh... saying that this... I mean, this is one heck of a game. But I think it kinda tries to... basically in the story, tries very hard to make a point that I don't think is quite clear by the end of it. No, the point is clear, I get it. The point is the choice. And that there's no way to fix... There's no way to really wipe away your debt. That's definitely what the game is, uh, the message of the game. So, thematically, I 
I get it. But in terms of, like, everything that sort of leads you to that, there's a lot of, like, deliberate misdirection in the game, which is a problem. Because Anna isn't the wife, Anna is the daughter. And I think it, the game just outright lied to me by calling Anna the wife. And Columbia didn't feel quite as involved and, um... fundamentally as lived in and like a real place as Rapture did. Rapture felt real. I didn't feel anywhere near, I didn't feel like Columbia felt like that at all. Columbia just... I don't think Bioshock Infinite is as good as Bioshock 1. And it doesn't play as good as Bioshock 2. So while I still think it's a pretty solid game, it's probably the lesser of the three I've played so far. I'm, I'm going to look very unpretentious, I think. But, you know, that is just how my, my initial impression. Maybe when I've thought about it, it'll uh, click more thoroughly. But Columbia just didn't feel like as much of a real place. It was very smooth, I loved the jumping about, and the uh, moving about, and the shooting was pretty solid, but the weapon selection and figures weren't as good as the plasmas, I didn't think. You know, not not being able to shoot fire out of your hands was a bit of a, you know, throwing the balls just isn't quite as good. Shooting crows at people is sweet. But overall, I'm, I'm not feeling quite as impressed as maybe I'd prefer. That's, that's not to say that I think the game's bad by any means. It's certainly not a bad game. No one in their right mind could call it bad. It's just, in comparison to the previous Bioshock games, it didn't feel as strong. If that makes any sense. This is fine. It's that one more echo. Oh, okay. There's Ken Levine. I don't know who, um... Oh, no, that's Troy Baker. And Courtney Draper as the voice actress for Elizabeth. Is he playing the guitar? It's too bad we only heard like three, like four bars of that entire song. She's got such a good voice. Just enjoying that bit. Hmm. Huh. I thought, oh wow. There's more. There's an after credit scene in a video game. That's novel. Anna? Hold on, I want to check the front door. But... Didn't he drown before she was born? Is that you? Is there a surviving timeline? We'll never know. It's like the top spinning at the end of Inception. <laughs> yeah. No, you're never going to connect to my 2k account because I've never made one. And I never will. So after that mess of 
contradicting and confused thoughts throughout the credits. None of which really mean anything until I've, you know, watched through the edit and understood the stuff that I've almost inevitably missed. What do I really think of the game? I, I stand by my position that it's probably the... Overall, it's probably the weakest. Like I said, not that doesn't mean I, I dislike it. But if I were to rank them, I think Bioshock would go down as number three. Then probably... Bioshock 2 is the one I like the most, and Bioshock 1 is, I think, the, the fundamentally, at a conceptual level, the best one. And then Bioshock Infinite is certainly something you should play, but I think it'll depend on your overall outlook and sort of how you interpret and take stories. And I think Infinite and I have some differences in that department that need to be squared. That the punch of certain story beats are just leaving you going, well, hang on, what is real? What is what is this, A, B, or C? Which, what is the line of progression here? And it doesn't... It just leaves you sort of in that mindset rather than absorbing the story. You're trying to figure out the multiverse. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's a, that's a, that's a me problem. But it leaves me feeling a bit like, eh, at the end of it. Still. You know. The messaging is interesting. I think the messaging, I'm right on, that it's about... Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. There is no wiping away the debt. There is no washing away your sins. There is paying for them. Or there is avoiding them entirely. And I think if that's the story bit, it definitely delivered on that. So I'm not sure how... Like... Elizabeth being uh, Booker and Comstock. I mean, I already guessed that Booker was Comstock, but I kept on going back and forth on that as to whether or not that would actually happen. It felt too cliche, I suppose. Maybe that's why I feel a little sort of like, nah, when that was revealed. It's like, it wasn't a surprise to me. Maybe I should stop speculating so much, but I can't help it. You know, I have opinions. <sighs> Certainly doesn't have the punch of um, would you kindly. I don't think anything will top that. It's probably a good thing, by the way, that um, in Bioshock 2, it's not revealed that um, Subject Delta is, uh, like, e Eleanor's father. So I think I think the game, like, uh, dodged a bullet on, on that one. If it, if it just... If, even if it was, it doesn't matter, really. It never mattered to Subject Delta. And then, uh, Subject Sigma being, um... Porter. I mean, that was a... a great moment. That, again, this game doesn't quite, like... Because it's, it's, it's messing about with the multiverse and anything could be anything. So what's... what's the revelation? I don't know. I really wish Columbia had been a bit more, like of a real place. They tried it. They really did try to make it feel more like that it was presently being lived in. But they didn't... I didn't get enough of, like, the sort of society that you really do get with Rapture. Too many of those voxophones were Comstock, I think. Right at the beginning there, when it should be building the world it was building Comstock. And you could have done that more in person, perhaps. If I were to critique it. Look, I'm not going to sit here and criticize the whole story. It was good. It wasn't mind-blowing, perhaps, is the problem. And I suppose if you're comparing Bioshock to Bioshock Infinite, it kind of needs to be. But, you know. It's still a great game. It's just expectations. Okay, let's look at downloadable content. Here's the thing. We've got Clash in the Clouds, which I might have a... Like, I might see what that's about. And we got Burial, Burial at Sea, which is up next. I don't... Th I think Clash in the Clouds is another one of those gauntlet things. I'm not sure, like, how much it actually... How much story it has. 
might have to double check if there is any, because it might not be. Might have just been a thing like, hey, you can do this if you want. Fairy on Sea is where some story is, and that's more. That's Rapture. That's set in Rapture. We had a po we had a peak in Rapture. I think we're gonna get some more. Actually, I still don't understand what the relevance of Rapture was. Like, that was just a reference, or was that actually supposed to have meaning? I'm not sure. Because I don't see any connection, really, when you actually think about it. It's just there to be like, hey, do you remember Bioshock? It's like, yeah, I do, but, like, is there a connection? There's always a lighthouse. Maybe if he'd done, like, 15 games before that started with lighthouses, like, if it, if it had popped you onto, uh, whatever you are in, uh, System Shock, that might have been a real, like, holy shit moment. But I don't see that, I don't actually see where, um, Rapture comes into any of it, actually, so that's another... Never mind, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna do Burial at Sea, that's coming, uh, next. Um... I've heard of actually something mixed things about Burial at Sea, but we'll see for myself, I'll see for myself. You know, I gotta, f I gotta conclude it, it's gotta be done, doesn't it? Uh, and then we'll see. But that was Bioshock Infinite. And I think I've said enough. <laughs>